Hello friends and welcome back to my channel Keto with Sharon. Keto ka hai? What is Keto? So let me first begin by addressing the very basic questions today. What is Keto or Ketosis? So when we completely curb the intake of sugar, our body starts producing ketones and our body also starts burning fat instead of burning sugar. It can take from 3 days to up to 3 to 4 weeks to get into a state of ketosis. So getting into a state of ketosis is like changing the entire fuel source of your body. It is like a car was running on petrol or diesel and now we are changing the fuel source and making it run on CNG or uh, electric sources which are more cleaner sources of energy. So what are the results of getting into a state of ketosis? Fat loss for sure, no spikes in blood sugar levels, clarity of thought, more focus and more energy. So guys, if you are thinking of starting the keto diet, then I would request that at least try it out for a month because it takes time for the body to get adapted to fat. You must have definitely tried out many different ways, many different uh, types of diet foods. You must have consulted a lot of doctors, dietitians. And I'm sure you must have also started, you know, some kinds of exercises and still you have not been able to get the result that you were desiring. You know, for me, uh, in order to start the keto diet, a reason was very, very important. And a reason is very important to start anything new that you want to take up in your life. So I would request all of you to find that one reason why you want to start the keto diet. Is it that is actually nagging you? Is it your weight? Is, is it the different kinds of problems that you must be facing because you're overweight? Is it your high blood sugar levels? Are you diabetic? Do you feel fatigue? Do you feel loss of energy? Do you feel lack of focus? So these can be some of the reasons uh, for which you can actually start a keto diet. But for each one of you, it has to be a very special reason. Just like any other diet plan, the keto diet requires a lot of discipline, a lot of focus, a lot of dedication. There should not be any cheat meals. Guys, even if there is one cheat meal, you will actually land up getting out of ketosis and you will actually have to start the entire process all over again. You have to be very, very disciplined in what you eat and what you don't eat. And this I am sharing based on my own experience. I was on keto, off keto for a very, very long time. You know, I've been uh, going to parties. There have been functions at home. I've been attending marriages. And, uh, you know, the devil in me said, okay, let's eat today. How does it matter? But frankly, guys, it does matter. So let's say that you are eating 100 grams of food in a day. Then your carbohydrates, including sugar, should be less than 5 grams. Your protein should be 15 to 20 grams. And your fat should be around uh, 75 to 80 grams. So coming up next is what are the kind of food that we can take in the keto diet and what are the kind of foods that we must not take or avoid during a keto diet. First, I will talk about vegetables that we can consume. Spinach, lettuce, broccoli, cabbage, chard, asparagus, capsicum, cucumber, brinjal, cauliflower, uh, lime, lemon, ginger, garlic. So these are some of the main vegetables that you can consume, mainly green leafy vegetables which are low in carbohydrates. Uh, one must avoid all kinds of vegetables that grow below the ground and the thumb rule is that eat vegetables that are above ground. Vegetables such as uh, potatoes, sweet potatoes, beet which are uh, high in sugar, starch and carbs uh, must be completely avoided. Uh, mushrooms can be taken in limited quantities. Mushrooms are not a vegetable, but I have included them in the uh, vegetable category. So all kinds of mushrooms can be consumed, but in limited quantities. Um, tomatoes and onions. Uh, yes, tomatoes and onions do contain carbohydrates, but these can be consumed in moderate quantities. Now coming up next to what are the kind of oils, fats and meat that we can consume in a ketogenic diet. So first we'll talk about the oils. All saturated fats and monosaturated fats like olive oil, ghee, butter, high fat cream, coconut oil, MCT oil, tallow, lard, natural polyunsaturated fats like fatty fish and animal proteins including the fattier cuts of meat can be consumed. Monounsaturated fats like cold pressed olive oil, flaxseed oil, 
macadamia nut oil, avocado oil and nut butters. Nut butters which are unsweetened can be consumed. Coming up next is the meat products. All fatty fish, seafood, goat meat, beef, pork, duck, turkey, eggs etc. can be consumed. And uh, one must try for the grass fed, free range, pasture range and fattier cuts of meat. And uh, one must avoid eating all kinds of processed or cold cuts of meat because they do contain a lot of sugar. Now I will talk about what are the kind of pulses, grains, fruits and other food products that we must consume or not consume in a keto diet. In fruits, mostly berries like blueberries, strawberries, raspberries which are low in carbs and sugar can be consumed in moderate quantities. All kinds of pulses and grains must be completely avoided. Tea, coffee and green tea can be consumed in as much quantity as you desire. The only thing here is that we must not add sugar or milk to our tea or coffee. A very good alternative to milk uh, can be a very high fat cream that can be added to our tea or coffee and we can replace the sugar with sweeteners like stevia. Milk and milk powder should be avoided as it contains a very high amount of carbohydrates as well as sugar. Buttermilk uh, which is unsweetened can be consumed in limited quantities. Paneer can be consumed moderately. All forms of sugar whether they are naturally occurring or whether they are processed sugars must be completely avoided and uh, sugar can be easily substituted by the other substitutes which are available particularly the natural ones such as stevia. So guys now I will share with you some of the thumb rules that you must follow during a keto diet. Always read the labels while purchasing products and look for low carb, high fat and unsweetened or no sugar products. Try to make sauces at home uh, rather than purchasing them from the market because most of the sauce and condiments that we uh, purchase from the market do contain uh, carbohydrates as well as sugar. Always ensure that you are buying variants of high fat cheese. Also guys, as everybody says, drink lots and lots of water. And one must try and uh, you know add a little bit of rock salt or pink salt or electrolytes in the water when you consume because uh, these are also lost uh, during the loss of water when we are in a state of ketosis. And a very important thumb rule, always count your macros in the food that you are eating. In case there are certain questions that are unanswered, please feel free to leave your comments below. Please click the bell icon and subscribe to my channel so that you can get all the notifications of my upcoming videos. And friends, please do like and share my videos with your friends and family so that more and more people can benefit from this wonderful keto diet. Thank you, cheers and happy ketoing.